you, you can only get feedback uh, after that product's done and say, okay, I'll put that in for our next game. We'll learn. But that's like a three to four year at, at earliest, maybe five to six year turnaround. It's really hard to do that, and but not with episodic content. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, just to follow up on what he said, um, the the whole three pillars thing is a very uh, synergistic. Like a, a lot of people are, they're confused in some regards to the episodic nature of the game, but, but really they should look at it from a perspective that uh, it, it's not episodic uh, because of any other reason than the fact that we want to get input and content from the community to continue developing the game and making it how they want to play it. Well, it's it's the same kind of thing that uh, Valve used to say before they decided to do the whole Half-Life 2 episode and and somehow managed to delay everything. Yeah, that, <laughs> the, the the development cycle is shorter and you get the the whole feedback loop is shorter also, so everything you can adjust it much faster. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, I don't I don't know exactly how they did it, but I, I did read up on it a little bit, and right. I'm not an expert on what they did, but from what I can tell, it uh, their community involvement is, uh, um, it, it although it was really good, I, I don't think it's at the level that ours is going to be. Like, cause uh, we're actually having we're actually having uh, uh, the community make parts of the game. Right, yeah, right. I really like that aspect. I As think it'll I. be for the better to make just a kick ass and many episodes of the game just yeah. Yeah. But by by build certain parts of the game, do you mean that, that some community members that are active enough, etc., will actually get some uh, dev tools from you, etc., to help build levels or things like that? How far does that go? Well, well that's oh, so do you want me to answer that, Aaron, or do yeah, you want to go ahead? Uh, well, you're more expert on that than I am. So. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Either one of us can answer it. Um, so, first of all, let me let me let me go into some detail. We have right now we have several categories um, of participation. So, if you don't feel creative, you don't have to necessarily add anything creative, but you can just discuss with the community and sort of give your opinions on stuff. By doing that alone. Uh, we have this rating system already built in our, our forums, and if you get a, a if just by reasonable level of participation, you will get your name in the credits. So, just by participating, and then the we have another level um, where you can start deciding on um, what what say effects we put in, what what storylines or or secondary storylines that uh, should be incorporated to make the game better. Uh, we have another level above that, and then we have two more levels that are still to be decided, and we're going to talk with the community on that. And if, for some reason, uh, we really feel that uh, that having someone actually build things uh, within the Crytek engine, we can certainly look at that option. Um, that requires a lot of technical savvy. Uh, the engine is fantastic, but um, making stuff uh, yeah, it for us. Uh, uh, a shippable game is is a challenge, but we're certainly open to bringing that to the community. Uh, so far, there's already been um, storylines. Aaron, people have been creating elder gods. It's been pretty amazing, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. Uh, we actually just to to uh, expand on that point a little bit. There's already a contest going on in the forums for something pretty sweet for for the game. <laughs> That's right. So, um, it, it's uh, been really fantastic in the level amount of... Uh, the, a lot of the stories that people have been posting for my contest, too, um, well, I, I obviously can't guarantee anything. I I know that Ken has been reading them all. so I've just, read uh, quite a few of them as well. They're very good. Yeah, it is it is amazing. And um, the other thing I would say about, about the order in the community, uh, I have been on a lot of forums... It is an extremely positive forum because people are all focused on a goal of creating something. That's really good to hear because I, I know what you were hinting at by saying I've been on a lot of forums. I've also been on a lot of forums throughout the years, so I know what you're talking about there. It's good to hear that you guys have a positive vibe going. Yeah, well, it's really positive. And, and the other thing that's really interesting is with this rating system, um, if, if there is some type of bad behavior... It's really um, up to the community uh, to, there's this, what I would call, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for, Aaron? A very democratic voting system. Yeah. So, and the interesting thing about the voting system is, um, it's it's controllable by the people who who cast the vote. So, if you say that you don't, you think someone's not ex expressing good good behavior, you can give them a negative rating. But if you see them improving. You can take that rating away, and underneath everyone's bar, you can just basically see how everyone's generally behaving. And I gotta say, everyone's by far in the green right now. It's 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 been a great community, and um, it's just really it's just really fun to interact with everyone. And and if you want some serious, intelligent conversation, it's certainly to be had in the order. And then there's the whole arg that's going on as well um, with Wheatley. Um, who's doing a lot of paranormal research on the on the uh, the Eternals in in the universe? And there's already been a ton of people providing materials. One of the other tiers. This is the last thing I'll talk about because if it gets too boring, uh, I, I I don't mean to uh, talk too much. But there's You're something called. You're perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm drinking too much Diet Pepsi, so like, I get hyper. About it. I, I do like. I like hearing how passionate he is about yeah, it. That's it's it's good nice to, to actually be able to... This is another thing I really like about you guys in general. It's nice to actually just be able to sit down and talk with you and not be like yeah. some big name company, you know. Not I'm not IGN. I'm not something not like that. Yeah, we're not? just... We're just... No, we're not GMA. <laughs> we I'm sorry. You were wrong. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, we're just... We're just some people that enjoy games and enjoyed Eternal Darkness and enjoy what you guys are doing, and you actually just want to talk with the little guy, and it's it's nice to see a group oh, of thanks. people that want to do that. It makes us very happy. And well, that's let, what let me... made me want to be part of your actual forms, and you guys are the first thing I've ever kickstarted or ever funded, period. So. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, we, we would be nothing without our community, and quite frankly, um, Everyone like you guys. We'd I'd rather be talking to you guys, and and I really mean that from the, from the uh, well. You've seen our interaction in the forums, and I've seen I've seen how much you've been participating in the forums already, and it's been awesome. And you know, I I do as much as between forum administration, which I've been doing most of this morning before I jumped on. Um, but um, I just I personally really like it, and um, you really do get a sense of what gamers are looking for. And um, I'll I'll tell you something right now. I, I there's a trend that's happening um, that is discouraging for me in the video game industry. Where um, there's this segmentation that's growing away from the consumer, where it's all about big marketing ads and they do focus testing and they'll put out yeah. a bunch of questionnaires. But we think that's the wrong direction. And oh, we, oh yes, <laughs> we're very very serious about. Um, getting uh, the community involved in, in making this game and the sky is the limit on the level of interaction um, as far as uh, participation goes it's this there's there's gonna be this natural corrector though that when you start working on something it's a lot of hard work and as an example Aaron uh, started a, a contest and the prize is secret so we can't talk about the prize that's why he was a little evasive mm -hmm. because the prize is really cool I know what it is but we can't talk about it but he the idea was um, there was going to be ten short stories written. I w or, oh, sorry, not ten. There was short stories written, and the top is it five? Aaron, we were going to pick, or yeah, yeah, it's five. And uh, it was a number of people who wrote stories. It's increasing regularly, but it's hard to write a short story. So people ask for an extension and extension. So uh, Aaron was good enough to give everyone an extension, but it's hard work. But that stuff in there is awesome. It's mind blowing how good those short stories are. Yeah, well, I mean, the point of it was to be hard. Like, it wasn't supposed to be easy. The, the reward, I should say, the prize that these people are going to get is quite substantial. Like, it's, it's nothing small. So, I mean, it's um, a little upsetting to some people that it's so hard. And I understand that they're busy. They work, you know, 40-hour-a-week jobs. And they, don't, they just don't have time to sit down. Uh, however, I also put in the contest that it, the, the, the word count was a guideline and it was never a requirement. And some people have... Um, some people have realized that and they've made shorter stories, some people have not, and made really long ones, or that was just what they wanted. Uh, but, you know, and 
I think so far it's been really positive, and a lot of people are contributing. Uh, there's like I think 17 or 18 right now. I'm not sure at this moment. Uh, it's, a, it's amazing. Yeah, and also I just wanted to follow up on a comment that you had mentioned earlier about the, the people's um, behavior on the forums. Uh, Graz said in chat that he's been behaving badly, but Graz, I have to disagree with you. Al although you have had um, what I would consider negative feedback on some of your posts, I don't think that you've been uh, uh, behaving badly at all. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I have never moderated you, and nobody is, and none of the moderator team has ever moderated you. I believe that your opinion is, is valid and warranted, and I don't think anyone's ever going to tell you you can't talk and say what you believe. So just that, just to follow up on that. That's what I like yep. to hear. That's, that's very the sort true. of thing I love to hear. I just I, w I was just about to say that I'm getting all warm and fuzzy inside, man. <laughs> it's so good to talk to, to to game devs that actually sound like. They really care about the game, and and because the game, a game isn't anything unless it's played by someone, right? So yeah, absolutely, a game is also the people playing it, and you guys have like there's no barrier. I feel like I'm just talking to fellow <clears throat> gamers that are passionate about games, and the fact that you just personally responded to a guy that's on your forums, that's just amazing. So yeah. huge thumbs up to you guys, and thanks very much yet again for being on the stream. Oh, uh, I'll you Sorry, Go ahead, Aaron. Sorry. I was just gonna say I'll, I'll personally respond to anyone. Uh, yeah. They can send right. me messages on the forums. Like I actually have hung out with uh, Asuka playing some Magic: The Gathering. Yeah, GP and, and me and Aaron <coughs> played Magic sometimes. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't tell me about that. Otherwise, I would have joined in the. Yeah, yeah so, I didn't know either. I just been. I, I hang life. out. For, I'll play. I'll play any game with anyone that I have. I'm not gonna go buy a game just to play with you, unless it's a game I want. But I'll, I'll play any game with anyone if they if I have time. Um, and I, I I don't have a problem hanging out with people or answering questions as long as I can answer them. I I can't answer everything. So yeah, understandable. And I think that's exactly how a community manager should be. Exactly. Right. Should be a huge active part in the community, not just for the game, but every aspect. Yeah, I mean. Well, uh, it, it, you gotta realize that this this idea that we have um, isn't just about our game. It's about creating a whole new genre in a way of of massive interaction between the community and right. So uh, the company setting new paradigms. Yeah, it, it, no. these are company pillars, not Shadow of the Eternal pillars. Right. Personally, that's what I believe gaming needs right now. There's so Absolutely. many people that just don't do that or just outright disrespect the consumer. And it's oh, yeah. very nice to see people that actually care and can act like normal human beings and not just, you know, a company. Well, people forget that we are normal human beings and right. uh, pretty much everybody at the studio loves to play games. I mean, that's why they make games. Uh, I, I'm a huge gamer and I know Dennis is. He's a huge gamer too. <laughs> To play too many games, and and uh, you know, I'll I'll tell you a little secret between Aaron and I. Aaron, how long did we play Eve Online together? Six years, seven years? <laughs> yeah, a long time. <laughs> so, nice. and, and anyone who's played Eve knows that's not a that's not a Care Bear game. Yeah, yeah, that game's crazy. I tried playing it once. Yeah, um, I can so recognize anyway, it as being a good game. It's just not for me. <laughs> it, 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 we've played a lot of games, and there's it's it's a very uh, laser focused uh, MMO, and if uh, we got burnt out on it after a while, but it's it's a good game, and it's you have to have a special um, a special knack for uh, hanging out and mining asteroids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Would you mind telling us a few of your favorite games? Um, sure. Actually, can I do? I want to do one more thing before I talk about that. I want to roll sure. it all back to the Ephemeral Codex, and it's gonna it's gonna pull everything that Aaron and I have just been talking. So one of the uh, things that we're doing with all this content, we're creating this book that's called the Ephemeral Codex, and everyone who contributes to the community uh, is going to have a chance or an opportunity to get this in. It's going to be a very, it's very, very popular on our um, on our crowdfunding site. It's 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 uh, a hardcover book that's going to be created from all the input in the community and all the things that are going to make wow. it into the game. Are just going to come into this. I can, I'll tell you right now, it's a very high quality hardcover book. Um, I'm a big Warhammer fan, and oh, nice. <laughs> so it's a it's of a very high quality hardcover. So all the things that we were just talking about, um, everyone's going to have a chance to get that in there, and it's going to be. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time putting it together, and so not only can you. Um, 
not only can you uh, get your name in the credits, but when we get this book finished, you can be published as well. Yeah, Ooh, wow. that is cool. <laughs> that's yeah. kind of like a little book that says, like, hey, guys, remember what we did. That's, ah, that's yeah. so cool. Yep, yep. Okay, just, so, yeah. sorry. I, I just wanted to point out.